unboxing. Okay, guys, today what we're going to be taking a look at is unboxing and showing how to use a torque angle gauge. This is an OTC 4554 model. And we're going to show, you know, for those of you who are interested in this type of tool, what's involved here. So it's pretty simple tool con contents wise. You've got the gauge and you've got the retaining bar. The way these tools work, they're half inch. You kind of zero this guy out. You can kind of hold this and turn this to zero in. And then what you'll use the bar for is you'll find a place inside that you can put this against, like maybe another bolt or something else, so that when you do the, the torque, you can watch the gauge move. So let me show you this on an actual repair I'm doing where we need to do a torque plus angle. All right, guys, so this OTC tool is not too much different than other ones. This uh, 4554, you got um, a half inch attachment on both sides. And of course, the way these things work is you got a little thumb screw that holds on this piece here that you can either flip as you need to go and grab something on the device you're trying to do the torque value on and the way it works is this kind of holds it in position and then as you turn it you know this is going to move right so if you said you needed to have something at say 40 foot pounds plus 60 degrees you do your 40 foot pounds you'd put this tool on and you give it a turn until it got to 60 degrees and that's what this tool would do so very straightforward you know simple construction plastic metal on the center piece snap ring holding the whole assembly together very easy to work the tool and get it on and off so I got a couple of bolts here that I need to do a torque degree on and so we'll show this guy in action alright guys we've got our gauge hooked up to our torque wrench um, just using a small adapter for this particular application because we don't have a lot of room and we already got these guys torqued to 37 foot pounds we need to do an additional 60 degrees I'm gonna use this up against this bracket if you watch the gauge here, we're just going to give it a turn until we get to an extra 60 degrees. And there you can see we've got the 60 degrees. If we come on this other side here, we can see that. Let's zoom in. And that's all it is to it. So sometimes you'll see a torque value expressed in terms of newton meters or foot pounds, but then requesting an additional um, set of degrees like in this case it was 60 to 70 so anything in that range of 60 to 70 will complete the torque on that fastener all right one more we're just going to land it right on 60 at the minimum all right guys and that's all there is to it right these things are of you know very simple construction there's really not a whole lot that can go wrong. I went with the OTC one just because I was hoping for a little bit higher quality materials, but they look very similar to other ones you might see. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this tool, in the OTC tool. If uh, you're interested in some other tools, at least this gave you some information about how they're used and what you might want to look for. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I'll try to help. Otherwise, thanks for watching.